I love it. I'm proud of this. It's really, really good. You have to get your life. Hey y'all, welcome to The Mindful Plate. In today's episode, we are going to be making this gorgeous sweet potato bourbon bread pudding. Now, if you wanna get straight to the recipe, you can go ahead and skip ahead here. But if you wanna know how to take old family holiday recipes and upgrade them with healthy ingredients, stick around. I'm gonna show you something. Cause this sweet potato bourbon bread pudding has a rich history in my family. And even though we enjoy eating it, we've made some upgrades to our diet. And so this holiday, we're going to decolonize and veganize some of those ingredients for a healthier holiday meal. Hey, I'm your host, Shelly Wellness. I'm on this journey to elevate our consciousness around food, and I invite you to join me. On this channel, I'll share recipes created with mindfulness, rooted in wellness. Welcome to The Mindful Plate. If you've been following my wellness journey for a while, then you know that I'm a proud Jamaican, Jamaican mom and black American dad. And I grew up with the best of both worlds when it came to food. Shout out to all my children of mixed heritage. The holidays were always a full on feast and display of the richness of Jamaican and soul food. And when it came to dessert, y'all, we had it all. Sweet potato pie, banana pudding, peach cobbler, red velvet cake, Jamaican style fruit cake, and Jamaican style bread pudding. Now, out of all of these, sweet potato pie and Jamaican style bread pudding were my least favorite, y'all. Let's just say that I would eat it, but I wouldn't go back for seconds. But all of that changed in 2011. That year, I published an Amazon best-selling Kindle cookbook of my favorite desserts. And I wanted to create a dessert that was an ode to my cultural heritage. So even though I didn't enjoy them on their own, they were culturally rooted recipes and I wanted to include them in my book. So I married sweet potato pie and Jamaican style bread pudding and created my now favorite sweet potato bourbon bread pudding. It was made with bread, white sugar, heavy cream, eggs, and loads of butter, y'all. But now, as you know, here at The Mindful Plate, we practice mindfulness when it comes to eating. And this holiday, our mindfulness is taking us on a journey of decolonizing our diets and veganizing ingredients for our health. So I'm gonna walk you through the steps that I do to do that in hopes that as you prepare food for your loved ones this holiday, you can elevate the ingredients of your family's beloved dish, keep all the flavor and the goodness, and enjoy. Yeah. When it comes to taking an old family recipe and revamping your ingredients, you wanna consider a couple of things. The first, decolonizing your diet. If you want more context on what this is, then make sure you watch my video, How to Decolonize Your Diet and How to Decolonize Your Thanksgiving. In both of these videos, I share how to look into your own cultural heritage for culinary inspiration that's rooted in wellness. The second thing is veganizing ingredients. You wanna go through your recipe and swap out all of the ingredients that are not as healthy for more healthier ones. This can be a bit of trial and error, but it's worth it in the end. Now I did both of these with a sweet potato bourbon bread pudding recipe. For our bread pudding, we're going to start with bread, but not just any bread, Jamaican style hard old bread. This is the ultimate in comfort. It's soft and chewy with a tender sweetness and yet, it's dense and sturdy enough to handle the liquid that we're going to eventually soak it in. Now this recipe also calls for eggs, sugar, cream, and butter. But instead of that, we're going to be using a vegan egg replacer, coconut sugar, a vanilla flavored vegan coffee creamer, which kind of mimics the heavy cream, and vegan butter. For the record, y'all, this is meant to be a decadent dish. So we're still gonna be using fats and sugar, but instead of animal fats, we're gonna be focusing on plant-based fats. To get started, you're gonna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Traditional bread pudding calls for stale bread, as it's better for soaking. But if you find that your bread is not stale and it's fresh like the one that I have here, you can lay them in an even layer on a cookie sheet and pop your bread chunks in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. The heat's gonna dry it out and it will begin to mimic a staleness. Once the bread is ready, you wanna toss it with a bit of cinnamon, some of your pecans, and melted vegan butter. Now, I believe in seasoning at every stage of a recipe. So while your bread is making love to the spices and the nuts, you're gonna set that aside in another bowl and you're gonna whisk your vegan coffee creamer, your egg replacer, your coconut sugar, and your spices. Over the parts. 
Wow. Yes. That's really good. I like it. Now, since this is sweet potato bread pudding, we're gonna add in a whole roasted sweet potato into the mix. So you wanna beat that sweet potato so that you're left with a very smooth batter to pour over your bread chunks. Lastly, you're gonna add in your bourbon vanilla extract. Once this is all made up to a vegan butter casserole, you're gonna add half of your bread chunks and then you're gonna pour half of your sweet potato mixture. And then you add the remaining chunks of your bread and then you add the rest of your sweet potato mixture. And then you dot the bread pudding with a few vegan butter pieces. Now, once it's all done, you can let it stand for 20 minutes. I like to let it stand for 20 minutes before putting it in the oven because it gives the bread a chance to soak up all that goodness. But if you're in a rush, feel free to pop it in the oven and bake it for 45 to 55 minutes. Now y'all know, I love a good sauce. So we're gonna make a bourbon praline sauce to go with the sweet potato bread pudding. And it's easy. We start with melting vegan butter and then we add in some brown sugar and we're gonna use a wooden spoon to stir it. Yes, wooden, not metal, to stir it until it melts. Once the mixture comes to a slight boil, we're gonna reduce the heat to a low simmer and for approximately five minutes, just kinda of let it sit there while stirring occasionally. And then you stir in your pecans and you add in a bit more of that bourbon vanilla extract and you can add in some bourbon if you want to. And it's gonna fizzle, so use some caution here, but that's gonna like create that full flavor. And once our sweet potato bread pudding is done, poke holes in it and spoon over the bourbon praline sauce and enjoy y'all. Oh my goodness, y'all, oh, this looks so good. I mean, I didn't have any doubts that it wouldn't, but my goodness, it looks so good. It reminds me definitely how I used to make it before. It smells amazing. Oh, all right. This is the first time, remember, I've only had this non-vegan, so let's see. Mmm, oh my God. Mm. <laughs> yes, this is what I'm talking about. I'm telling you, I know veganizing a recipe can have its challenges, but this is so worth it. It tastes amazing. And it's giving me like sweet potato pie with bread pudding. That heart of bread is a win. Mm, mm, mm. One more bite, y'all, because I... Mm. Oh, and speaking of veganizing things, I found a whipped cream made from oat milk. So I'm trying it for the first time. Let's see. Mm. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, wow. The sweet potato has texture. So it adds some integrity to the dish. I am loving all of this. And you know what? I know you're going to love it too. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, wow. All right, y'all. Now that is how you decolonize and veganize your Thanksgiving recipes for a healthier holiday with your family. If you like today's recipe, hit the like button and subscribe. And if you're interested in cooking where recipes are a guide, ingredients are intuited, and process is present, and food is always delicious, y'all, because hello, delicious, then subscribe to our newsletter. Link is in the description below. I'll send you the recipe. Have an amazing holiday season, and I will see you next time. Until then, be well. Mwah.